Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. There's been an update. It has been strengthening, but as of the 2 p.m. or well, the 1 p.m. Uh, Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, is showing 90 miles per hour for Hurricane Sally. It has become a hurricane, but the, as far as the tropical storm force wind probabilities, they are still pretty much in the same area. It looks like it's gotten a little bit bigger. That's because the storm is going to hover right along the coast of, of, of the uh, of land for hours. I'm showing at least 24 to 36 hours of steady rain, and that's not going to be good. That's going to be a lot of flooding. But Noah's showing that it's going to stay a hurricane on land for a while, all the way to 7 a.m. on Wednesday. Now, the, as, far, as far as your storm surge, it's still showing the same thing, 7 to 11 feet right here towards New Orleans. This one has went up from 4 to 6 feet to now 6 to 9 feet. And then I'll uh, spread it one to three feet all the way to, to the east of it. Now for your, your one to five day rainfall totals, if you look at the pink, the pink is 15 inches of rain. Okay, the red is 10 inches of rain. The orange is six inches of rain. Now this is just rainfall. This is not your storm surge. This is just adi additional uh, problems that you're going to be having along with the winds. This is a lot of flooding rain, guys. 15 inches of rain. Oh my God, that's a lot. All right, one to three out, uh, excessive rainfall outlook is still in the general area. It moved a little bit eastward, but it is still in the general area that it had uh, of this morning. And if you let, take a look at this storm, this is right now what we have. She's starting to explode up. She's starting to energize. Uh, if you look good with the, the lightning, you can see that it's starting to get lightning now along the center. Let me refresh it for you. It's starting to get lightning now along the center of the of the, the storm because the center of the eye is starting to move uh, underneath the whole storm. So it's starting to get balanced now. It's not on an angle no more. It's not toppled over. It's starting to go straight up and down, and it's starting to intensify. Now, when I look on the models, the, G the GFS shows that it gets down to 973 millibars right before landfall, and that's on a 36-hour run. The euro shows it gets down to 973, and that's at the 48 uh, run. When I go to the 54, it down it downgrades quickly, so it's not showing a hurricane when it gets on land like Noah is showing. So I'm not showing the euro is right. The, the, the NAM is showing 976 on land, and it continues to stay at a strong power all the way until land. So the NAM and the GFS is what I'm showing is the correct uh, models to be looking for. Now the alerts that they have put have put out. Peak wind forecast is 45 to 55 miles per hour with gust of 70 miles per hour. Now window window for tropical storm force winds is early Tuesday morning until Wednesday afternoon. Uh, uncertainty in track size and intensity. They still don't know which way is going left or right yet, but potential for wind 74 to 110 miles per hour. The wind threat has remained nearly steady for the previous assessment. But plan for life-threatening wind of equivalent Cat 1 or Cat 2 Hurricane Forest, guys. This is not a joke. This thing has gotten serious. Let me give you, a, according to who's in the watch. Uh, storm storage warning and hurricane warning are in effect for Ascension, Hancock, Harrison, Jackson, Livingston, Lower Jefferson, Lower Lafouche, Lower Plaquemines, Lower St. Bernard, Orleans, Southern Tangipahoe, St. Charles, St. John, the Baptist, St. Tammany, Upper Jefferson, Upper Plaquemines, and Upper St. Bernard. A trop tropical storm warning is in effect for a meet, East Baton Rouge, East Feliciana, Northern Tangipahoe, Pike, St. Helena, and, and Walt Hall. Now, a hurricane warning is in effect for Assumption, Lower Terrebonne, Pearl River, St. James, Upper Lafouche, Upper Terrebonne, and Washington. So they did notice about 230 30 miles east, southeast of New Orleans, Louisiana, or about 100 miles uh, southeast of, of Gulfport, Mississippi. The storm intensity is expected to be 65 miles an hour, but like I said, it, they say prepare for a Cat 1 or a Cat 2. Now let me turn this off so you can see exactly what it is that I want to show you. Now this right here in this area, this 2% that you see, this is your tornado probabilities. If you're in this this area right here, you got chance for probabilities for tornadoes off of this hurricane because of the rain bands are going to spin up some vorticity and it's going to create issues as far as uh, tornadoes. Now, if you watch, it don't it don't have a closed center the whole time. Then right before landfall, it starts to close up uh, its center of eye on the south side of the wall, and then it starts forming in. 
Now, when you start seeing, when you see these little curves right here, and you see it start curving in towards the center, that, that's a good show of strengthening. That's it trying to tighten up to a small hole and strengthen up. And if you watch it, it does get to a tight hole exactly at around 8 o'clock in the morning, and that is tomorrow, guys, tomorrow morning. And if you keep watching, look how small this center gets. It gets very tight, very small, and that is rapid intensification. So I guarantee you that Cat 1 Hurricane is not going to hold. Look how small that is. That is very tiny. Let me back up so you can see it grow because this thing is really trying to intensify. You can see it. It gets really closed up, and it gets real small and wound up. And the smaller that it winds up, is the, the, the more strengthening that this storm will bring. Now, if I rewind it and show you all the intensity that you're going to get from the thunderstorms from these rain bands, you can see where it's going to whip out at. Uh, Tampa, y'all still going to get some more rain. I know y'all had enough, but you got a lot of bad hail cores in these rain bands. And these rain bands is what's going to bring out the possibility of tornadoes. So be aware of that. Now, as you go into 3 o'clock tomorrow morning, it's already hidden. And I did calculate the, the rain hits mostly Pensacola for a while, but all the, the region of, of uh, Mississippi and Louisiana. Y'all going to get about 36 hours of rainfall. This takes this thing about 24 hours just to move 100 miles across the Gulf. And that's what we have so far for the 60-hour for the, the look. So God bless you all. I, I will keep y'all updated as much as I can. This storm really don't know what it wants to do, but it, it is strengthening. There is no doubt about whether it's strengthening or not. question is, how much more is it going to strengthen? So I will be live streaming later tonight, and it will be a tw at least a 24-hour live stream. That way I can keep everybody alerted as much as I can uh, through the night. So having said all that, I'd like to read you something that's really important to me. I think in these times you really need to praise God. So it's one of the shorter ones. But it's one of the best ones. Psalms 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall, shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Why do you heathen rage, and the people imagine a vain thing? Amen. So please, God, please come quickly bring you destruction because we are tired of all this badness that's happening in this world it's just it's awful guys i mean i can't wait to get out of this sins of the flesh and just being a spirit amen god bless you all i will see y'all later tonight stay safe all glory goes to god